After promising trials of an experimental new drug for Huntington's disease, researchers hope that currently untreatable brain diseases could soon become treatable, including other neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, motor neuron disease and Alzheimer's. We wanted to share this exciting research with you. And there's a new toy flying off the shelves that can help. So enter a world inside your cells and play with the awesome nano machines inside. The original portable protein action figures by Labsbro. Spark into action with ATP synthase. Pump out that potassium with Nicotpase. Hey. These fully operational action figures represent just a couple of the thousands of tiny machines in your cells. Those nanomachines are the proteins that our body's systems depend on for their structure and function. And now you can build your own nanomachines with the all new Protein Code Builder Set. Everything you need to go from gene to protein. Extreme! First, look inside the nucleus to find the DNA code, the gene, to make your new nanomachine. Lock it down and... Activate transcription! DNA to RNA is the way! Whoa! Messenger RNA! Transcription made a copy of that DNA code in mRNA, which is swell as that can leave the nucleus and travel to your protein factory, the ribosome. That's where you... Oh, go on, kid. Activate translation! Exactly! Now put on your high-tech 3D glasses to hear expert commentary from our NanoWorld Cyber Guide. Translation turns that mRNA code into a protein. It matches every three letters of code to a specific building block, an amino acid, which folds together into your new protein's unique shape. Congratulations, you have made a tau protein. Fantastic! Again! You can repeat this process for any gene. 1. Find the DNA code for the protein you want to make. 2. Transcribe that DNA code into messenger RNA. 3. Translate the mRNA into protein. That's the basics of gene expression. Wow! Gene expression! Gene expression! and RAD are two more of those thousands of nanomachine proteins that keep your body in tip-top condition. They're all made through gene expression. But if faults occur in the code, then disease can develop and threaten the nano world of your cells. Oh no, mutant Huntington. Oh no indeed. This is a faulty protein, Huntington. And buildup of this sticky protein can cause Huntington's disease. But where's it coming from? A mutation in the Huntington gene, location chromosome 4. Hello, are you even listening to me? <laughs> it's all over my neuron! Warning, a buildup of mutant Huntington protein is toxic to neurons in the brain, impacting memory and movement. The code to make the mutant Huntington protein comes from a mutant Huntington gene. If you can slow the production of the Huntington protein, you could slow the onset of Huntington's disease. I know what to do. Join the mission to break the enemy code and fix your nano world with the all new Nano Machines Code Breakers Edition. I need to stop Mutant Huntington to get it made. Good idea. The Mutant Huntington gene is turned into mRNA that carries that Mutant Huntington code to the ribosome where it's translated into Mutant Huntington protein. If you could stop the messenger, you could stop the Mutant Huntington protein being made. I'll design a new code to attach to the mRNA. She's right. The code needs to be the exact opposite to the Mutant Huntington mRNA to bind to it. It's called an antisense oligonucleotide, and it will bind specifically to its target, locking it up so the ribosome won't be able to read it and make any more Mutant Huntington protein. But what's this? The kid has gone slime crazy! There's Mutant Huntington mRNA <laughs> everywhere! You'll need a lot of antisense to mop up all that mutant mRNA. On it! Eat antisense! You've done it! You've stopped that sticky mutant Huntington protein from being made! A recent small-scale human trial of this drug, led by a team at UCL Institute of Neurology, showed that the treatment can lower the concentration of the mutant Huntington protein in patients with Huntington's disease. You defeated me this time, but you still need a large-scale clinical trial to see if it actually works. 
Researchers are already on it. And the clinical trial results are coming in 2022. <laughs> Similar products being trialed for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and motor neuron disease. Each toy sold separately, 3D glasses not included. Yay! Machine, machine. May the Vandervals force be with you.